Platinum is an element that's as cool as its name sounds. While the term platinum is commonly used to describe a very successful album, the metal platinum is a rather rare element that is more valuable than gold and quite a fashion statement. Platinum has an atomic number of 78 and lays with the transition metals on the periodic table. It has an atomic mass of 195.09 grams per mole and an electronic configuration of xenon 4F14 FD9 6S1. Like other metals, the grayish white platinum has a high fusion point, is malleable, is ductile, expands upon heating, and has high electrical resistance. Platinum is just one of six platinum group metals, which also include ruthenium, rhodium, palladium, osmium, and iridium. All six elements have similar physical and chemical properties. Platinum was first discovered by Spanish conquistadors in the 17th century, who found sediment deposits of the rare white metal while mining for gold in Colombia. Scientists Don Antonio de Ulloa gave it the name platina, or little silver. It wasn't until the 19th century that platinum was easily produced because the process involved a very complex technique that had not yet been available. At the beginning of the 20th century, its shiny luster and durability gave it a role in jewelry. Its demand grew once again with the introduction of automotive emission standards. Retrieving platinum from deposits is quite simple, but expensive. Miners drill long holes into the rock. The rock is blasted to pieces, and machines collect broken rock to the surface for processing. The pieces are mixed with water and chemicals, separating the platinum minerals. Air is blown through the mixture, creating a froth rich in platinum materials. The froth is dried to form a powder, which can contain anywhere between 85 and 850 grams of platinum group metals. The powdered minerals are heated in an electric surface. Oxygen in the air removes any remaining iron and sulfur. Aqua regia, a mix of hydrochloric acid and concentrated nitric acid, is used to dissolve the metal from the mineral concentrate. Lastly, the material is filtered, purified, and burned to produce pure platinum metal. Since the late 18th century, the use of platinum for jewelry and decoration has been popular. At first, jewelers had no way to shape the metal into complex designs, but soon high temperature blow torches were invented in order to heat platinum. Today, 44% of wedding rings sold in the United States are made of platinum. Platinum jewelry set with diamonds is lighter and sturdier than silver or gold studded jewelry. Most platinum jewelry is made out of alloys, not pure metal. Palladium makes platinum softer and easier to shape, and a coat of rhodium gives it a greater shine. Aside from fashion, platinum group metals and platinum alloys are used to help save people's lives in modern medicine. Unlike other metals, they do not react with the tissues and fluids inside people's bodies to create harmful substances. Because platinum is a good conductor of electricity, platinum iridium electrodes are used for pacemakers, oral implants to help people hear, retinal implants to help people see, and neural implants to help those with low muscle control. Platinum is also used for the development of drugs. Drugs based on the platinum compounds cisplatin and carboplatin treat people with cancer and stop tumors. Platinum catalysts speed up reactions without themselves getting chemically altered during the reaction. Most modern automobile exhaust systems hold catalytic converters to convert pollutants into harmless chemicals. Platinum group metals in the converters trigger reactions that break down nitrogen oxides into nitrogen and oxygen. The platinum atom grabs the nitrogen atom, releasing the oxygen atoms, which pair up to form oxygen gas. The gas reacts with unburned fuel and carbon monoxide, to produce harmless water vapor and carbon dioxide. Platinum has so many more industrial uses than silver or gold, but it's quite rare. With only an annual supply of about 130 tons, it ranks 72nd in natural abundance among elements found in crustal rock. Unlike nearly all metals, most deposits are found in only two parts of the world, South Africa and the Commonwealth of Independent States. With its limited supply and a tight supply and demand, platinum has become greatly important to our world.